Welcome to Math with Mr. J. In this video, I'm going to go through input and output tables that involve adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. So we have four tables on your screen there, and so we have one of each, one addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. So each table has a blank portion that we need to fill in based on the rule that we need to find. So let's jump right into number one, where we have inputs of 10, 15, 25, and 28. So the first thing we need to do is determine the rule. What are we doing to the inputs, the inputs to get the corresponding or matching outputs? So for example, let's take a look at this 10. How do we get 10 to equal 3, 15 to equal 8, and 28 to equal 21? Well, the first thing we should notice, the values of our inputs are decreasing. They're going down. So it's either going to be subtraction or division. So we should notice 10 to equal 3. Well, we could subtract 7. Let's see if it works for the others. 10 minus uh, 7 is 3, we said. Now 15 minus 7 is 8. And 28 minus 7 is 21. So our rule is input minus 7 equals our output. And so our blank uh, portion of the table here, 25 is our input, minus 7 gives us our output of 18. Number 2, we start with a 3 that corresponds with a 12, we have an 8 and a 32, and then a 20 and an 80. So our inputs are increasing in value. So it's going to be addition or multiplication. So how do we get 3 to equal 12? Well, we can add 9. Let's see if it works for the rest. 8 plus 9 is not 32, and 20 plus 9 is not 80. So adding 9 is not our rule. Never just check the first one and then think that rule applies for the whole table. Make sure it applies for all of your corresponding or matching terms for your input and output. Um, we know 3 times 4 is 12. Let's try it for the others. 8 times 4 is 32, and 20 times 4 is 80. So our rule is input times 4 equals our output. So 5 times 4 gives us 20. Number three, we have a vertical table, so it goes up and down. It's the same thing as the horizontal or side-to-side -side tables. Again, it's just up and down, though. So we're going from 1 to 21, 3 to 23, 17 to 37. So we're increasing in value, so it's going to be addition or multiplication. So how do we get 1 to equal 21? Well, we could add 20, so let's see if it works for the others. 3 plus 20 is 23, 17 plus 20 is 37, so our rule is input plus 20 equals the output. So what plus 20 equals 64? Well, 44. And lastly, number 4. We are decreasing in value here, 9 to 3, 18 to 6, and 30 to 10. So it's either division or subtraction. And it looks like it's going to be division. So how do we get 9 to equal 3? Well, we could divide by 3. 18 divided by 3 is 6, and 30 divided by 3 is 10. So our rule is input divided by 3 equals our output. So we need to think what divided by 3 equals 2? And the answer to that is 6. 6 divided by 3 gives us the output or corresponding term of 2. So there we have it. There are the input and output, output tables for adding, subtracting, multiplying, and dividing. Hopefully that helped. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, Peace.